Do you have more than one device with the same iCloud account on it? If so, and you're backing up apps, there's a chance that when you download apps on one device, it's going to go ahead and download on another device. It could be between iPads or iPhones. For me, what happened was my son always wanted my phone, so I decided to give him the iPad. I gave him the iPad and he started downloading all these games over and over and over again. <laughs> Literally 10 games a day easy just keeps deleting and re-downloading new games All of these games ended up on my iPhone They just kept popping up and at first I was like, okay, it's whatever, you know, I can see what he's doing So it's okay, but then after a while it just got overwhelming and how many construction and shark and dinosaur games Can you have on a phone? So I had to stop it and there's a simple setting to go through and turn it off to make sure this stops. Also, there's a cool setting in the same place that I want to touch on because it does make life a little easier. And I'll explain that a little more. Just make sure you watch to the end so you catch that. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, smack that subscribe button. We would love to have you here. With all that said, let's go ahead and dive in and show you exactly how we can go ahead and get this taken care of. So again, for me, we wanted to, on the iPhone, we wanted to stop all these apps downloading. I wanted to leave them on the iPad because that's what he's playing. So because of that, you would use your iPhone to stop it. So wherever you want the apps to stop downloading to, that's the device you want to use. So for me, it's the iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and choose settings. Once we're in settings, let's go ahead and we will scroll down until we find App Store and then we'll go ahead and select App Store. So in App Store, the top two things is kind of what you're looking for here. Uh, apps, do you want apps to automatically download? If they're downloaded from the other account, I have mine turned off. So that's what you want to do. Also, I have apps to update automatically. I like that feature even though I'm still going in all the time and just updating them manually daily because I'm kind of used to it. But you can go ahead and turn that on so they will update automatically. This option at the top, apps off, is what will stop apps from coming over to this iPhone. So with that turned off, what you can do is go to these apps and delete them from your iPhone. It will not cause any problems with the iPad. The iPad will stay untouched, even if you delete them off your iPhone. Now, while we're in here, I wanted to show you another option that I have turned off, and that's in-app ratings and reviews. You ever get that message all the time to rate this app or do a review on this app? Really annoying, right? Well, actually, you could just go ahead and turn it off right here, and you won't get that anymore. How cool is that? So a little extra knowledge there for you, and that will save you some gray hairs, I hope. <laughs> With this, you should be all set. You should no longer have any apps download. If you do want them to start again, just go ahead and turn it back on. But be ready because everything over there is going to come down all at one time. So if you are looking to have everything duplicated from the other phone over to this one, as far as the apps they're downloading, Go ahead and turn this on and your apps will still be on here, but you'll also have all the iPads apps. It also works vice versa. So make sure on your iPad you have that turned off because if you start downloading some work apps, uh, your children or whoever has the iPad could see those. You know, So make sure you have that turned off, especially if it's an app you don't want them to see. With that, that's everything you need to know. So I really hope this helped and thank you so much for the view.